a reaction to the assassination of Benazir Bhutto pouring in from across the globe. Britain is calling it a sad day for democracy. We're going to have more on that in just a few minutes. Meantime, let's look at what uh, neighboring India is saying. This is interesting. A spokesman for Prime Minister Manmohan Singh said this, in her death, the subcontinent has lost an outstanding leader who worked for democracy and reconciliation in her country. The Russian Foreign Ministry also reacting, we strongly condemn this terrorist act. They also stated that the Pakistani government must do its best to ensure the maximum stability in the election period and prevent terrorist acts against Benazir Bhutto and other political leaders. The U.S. president reacted as well. George W. Bush strongly condemning what he called the cowardly assassination of Benazir Bhutto. Ed Henry is at Mr. Bush's ranch in Crawford, Texas with more on uh, what he had to say, calling it cowardly and bra blaming extremists, Ed. That's right, some tough talk from President Bush, Colleen, and in fact, CNN has learned he is later today uh, planning, to call, planning to call Pakistani President Pervez Musharraf uh, to get a handle on the situation on the ground in Pakistan, but also to reiterate that same message he did a short while ago to the public all around the world here uh, from his ranch in Crawford, Texas, the president uh, saying that the U.S. stands with the people of Pakistan. He also praised Benazir Bhutto, saying that she had struggled for a long time against the forces of terror, noted that she knew her life was in danger, but would not let the extremists dictate the future of Pakistan. The United States strongly condemns this cowardly act by murderous extremists who are trying to undermine Pakistan's democracy. Those who committed this crime must be brought to justice. And that's why President Bush will be calling President Musharraf, obviously uh, trying to get a handle on the crisis, but also a lot of unanswered questions about who was behind this assassination, but also uh, clearly the U.S. Uh, wondering about the billions of dollars in aid that has been flowing to Pakistan. Critics uh, in recent weeks, recent days have been raising questions, in fact, about whether much of that aid has been wasted and has actually not gone to battle the extremists from Al-Qaeda and other terrorist groups. So there will be a lot of questions questions in the day ahead, days ahead, Colleen. Yeah, those are great questions and also another huge question, both for the United States and the people of Pakistan as well. What about these elections that were supposed to be going, going ahead just days from now? That's right. And now President Bush, as you know, had been pressuring President Musharraf uh, in recent weeks to lift the state of emergency. He did do that. He also had been pressing to make sure elections go forward. Obviously, that is a big question mark now, whether in fact the elections will move forward on January 8th. And privately, U.S. officials very concerned in the short term about this assassination sparking even more violence between now and January 8th. And in the long term, U.S. officials obviously also concerned about the potential for Pakistan's nuclear weapons getting in the hands of extremists, Colleen. Understood. Ed Henry Forrest at uh, the Bush Ranch in Crawford.